January is around the corner, and a lot of teams have started chasing Kudus Mohammed, and this one is very close for him to join. Okay, I'll be telling you more about Kudus Mohammed and uh, class that want to sign him because Kudus Mohammed was a uh, revelation, you know, very fantastic player uh, who went to the World Cup and showed the world that uh, he's great and there's a lot of potentials in him. So that is it. I'll be telling you and also give you some story about another young, talented player that is uh, Antoine Selim. Semenyon. He's also hot kick. He's performing so tremendously for Bristol City in the English Championship. Okay, so Kudus Mohamed and Antoine Semenyon is the hot kick now. So I'll be telling you more about these two guys. This is Brady Names TV. The name still remain. Kofi Atin Kantin Kawan. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Share this video to your friends. Like and also uh, comment. You know, it is for it is, it is you know, efforting I said to make Mav Watering offer for Ghana's forward. That's a superstar Kudus Mohammed in the transfer window. That's the general transfer window. So, you know, at the 22 year old was uh, close joining the English uh, Premier League side in the summer transfer window, but Ayaz refused to uh, make the Ghana international leave. Kudus Mohamed has since been an important player for the Dutch uh, giant, scoring five uh, LDVZ goals and also four in the UEFA Champions League before the World Cup break. Okay, so the, the Right to Dream Academy graduate spoke with Everton manager Frank Lampard before the deal fell through on transfer deadline day. However, you no, know, after an outstanding World Cup in Qatar, the Right to Dream Academy graduate is back on the radar of the Merseyside uh, club. You know, Everton will face serious competition uh, from clubs elsewhere. You know, Bushar Dortmund has already uh, expressed their interest in Kudus uh, Mohamed. Oh, okay, and they are already making contact with the player representatives. Barcelona, also uh, the director of Barcelona has already spoken about him. Liverpool are reportedly interested in the attacking midfielder ahead of their winter transfer. You know, Kudus Mohamed is said to be worth around 4 million euros. 40 million euros. Did I say for What is it for? 40 million euros after his World Cup heroics. Okay, so he scored two goals and provided an assist in three matches for the Blasters of Ghana. So Kudus Mohamed, Charlie, the man, eh, his hot kick, hot kick currently in uh, the Premier League teams are uh, want to sign him. I've told you before, did the video and told you about the informal approach that the Liverpool manager, uh, Jürgen Klopp, made even before the international break for the FIFA World Cup. So Kudus Mohamed is back on the radar of Frank Lampard. You know, Frank Lampard, uh, they allow uh, Solomon Rondon, okay, to leave uh, Everton on free transfer, not just to, they have terminated his contract because the guy is not performing. And the sources are saying that because they want to make space for Kudus Mohammed to come in and want to make more money available for Kudus Mohammed, like what happened to Thomas Tepati before joining Arsenal. Arsenal needed to sack one of their workers, long serving uh, worker, before they were able to purchase uh, Thomas Tepati from Atletico. Uh, Madrid. Okay, so that is it. Uh, Kudus Mohamed is also at the verge of joining uh, Everton in a huge and math watering of Thai transfer uh, money. Okay, so let's see how things will go for Kudus Mohamed as he prepare for uh, the transfer window to be open. Okay, so let me also talk about Antoine Selim. Selim. You know, Crystal Palace uh, said to uh, move for Antoine Samuel in uh, the January transfer uh, window. You know, Antoine Samuel could be on his way out of Bristol City in general, forming interest from European top clubs, including that is a guy, Tassalite, and also Fenerbahce. Okay, you know, however, the Ghana International who fancy a move to the English Premier League side crystal palace and also uh, brad bonmoff also interested in his service crystal palace wanted the Ghanaian as replacement for christian benteke who left the club early this season despite the availability of uh, joan uh, felipe uh, mantata and also uh edward manager patrick vera won another forward 
to beef his attack okay so there are a lot of attacking options for uh, crystal palace but he, they have seen some potential in this 22 year old that is antoine semenyo and they want him to stay they want him to come and also join the others uh, at uh, crystal palace because uh, ben Teke is not there and they want another player that can fill that gap because hey uh, semenyo is another is like a long-term striker long-term project Player. That is something uh, as a Fanabachi wanted to do. Okay, they want to get a player that can fill in when there's uh, a problem. Mostly, uh, visit about if he's not a run player, but I can uh, fill that gap for them. Okay, so Pati Vela want to sign someone at all costs. You know, meanwhile, you know, Palace will also be fancy competition from Rangers, Fanabachi for the service of the touring strike i know Semenyo had a decent campaign last season scoring eight goals providing 12 assists for uh rubens in the english championship you now in the current campaign the black star striker has netted four goals already you know he was a member of ghana squad at the 2022 FIFA world cup in Qatar, making two substitution appearance as the black stars were eliminated from the group stage so anton Semenyo very fantastic you know he has played two matches he played two matches for the uh, blasters at the World Cup. he all came from bench and performed very well he did his best and also he scored goal for ghana against susanna when ghana prepared him for the world cup he cannot beat susanna but uh, two goals two nil so and uh, also scored a goal in that game and uh, last season he scored eight goals with five assists and this season because of injuries and some stuff small small so he uh scored only four goals this season and that boy he's good he's good poacher he's strong he's always bulky side his hold up play is very important so anything that been able to get semanya would be uh, happy and you will be very very good to have him in addition to their yeah, squad okay so this is these two stories uh fantastic two players kudos and also someone don't forget the world cup you know now croatia is third place team and uh morocco is fourth and we are hoping to see big match coming on sunday being uh 8, 18th december 2022 that uh, last day for the fifa world cup qatar 2022 you know brazil will kick off uh kick out from the competition so now it's between uh argentina and uh also france will be play at the world cup finals so some people are polluting and so saying that they uh, Messi should win also are saying that Mbappe should win and france should win. so let's see what will happen on sunday 3 p.m ghana time everything will be on this very channel for you to watch this is very new steve guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell uh, share this video to your friends like and also share bye bye for now